How's it going, my YouTube family? Joshua August here. It's good to see you. I missed you. You know, we're kind of like a family. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I was with my youth all weekend. Love these crazy guys and gals. Um, make sure you take time to raise up and pour into the next generation, folks. If we're going to talk prophecy here, Malachi, hearts of the fathers towards the sons, sons towards the fathers, or what? The Lord will strike the ground. He'll strike the earth with a curse. So it's super important. Take that time. Find somebody to pour into, even if it's once a week, and uh, find your Elisha. Find your disciples, right? Uh, anyways, subscribe for weekly videos. We do encouraging videos, more advanced stuff, and creative things. Today, I'm actually going to do a recap of two past videos. One was where I talked about the black community and ethnicity and Christians rising up in the film and entertainment industry. And also a video I talked about Lauren Daigle being the next Amy Grant. And uh, basically, um, I promised I would do this. So tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to release my encouraging word where it's more just uh, great encouragement for you. I have it already written, so it's awesome. Uh, so tune in this week. But this is for my uh, entertainment people because that's what I'm also called to as well. Basically, a lot of people have written me and they're like, why would God send people to Hollywood and California and entertainment? It's such an evil industry. And let's let's just stay Old Testament on this. God God spoke this to me. But in two of the most ungodly kingdoms ever on earth, Babylon and Egypt, God sent Joseph and God sent Daniel. And in particular, if it wasn't for Joseph, he saved all of Egypt and surrounding nations. And uh, Daniel mightily influenced Babylon. And these were two of God's best. So he always will send his best, a standard to influence the darkness. Uh, but anyways, this has all happened basically in the last week. I saw this on social media. I'm trying to catch up. But I released the, the video about the black community in film and ethnicity and Christians um, about three weeks ago. But this has all happened. And this one's cool. It's actually a two for one. Steph Curry is a black entertainer and we know he's a Christian, but he's co-producing a Christian film called Breakthrough. And that's really, really cool. Not only is he an amazing black person, black Christian, that he's also helping the entertainment Christian mountain. The second one is uh, John Boyega, or Boyega from Star Wars. He's actually a pastor's kid. Who knew? This just came out, folks. And he's announcing... He is directing a Christian film, and he's not afraid to stand for faith in Hollywood. So that's both of what I said in the same people. Two for one is Steph Curry and John Boyega. Uh, Black Panther wins the SAG Award, and it's also the first super superhero film ever nominated for Best Picture. Come on. Come on, Black community. <laughs> Uh, also, Tim to also Tim Tebow on the Christian side of things. Tim Tebow and his brother are releasing a Christian film. They, they started a production company. Steph Curry did too, basically. And then here's a slew of other Christians that are shining and rising in the entertainment industry. And folks, this is just in the last week. I can't even keep up. And I just wanted to confirm and just say, you know, um, that I you know I heard from the Lord and and He wanted me to release this word and to encourage um, people who are called to that industry. And people have written me, and I just wanted to confirm what I heard and that these things are happening, and it's just really exciting. So anyways, I got a lot of feedback, even on the Lauren Daigle video. I said, you know, she was the next Amy Grant, and uh, there was a lot of backlash with her. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I just want to say that some of you won't remember, but when I was little and Amy Grant crossed over into secular charts and music, um, Christians ate her alive. They just went after a reputation or so much gossip, so much uh, stone throwing it was awful. And that's exactly what happened to Lauren. We all know that. Um, but I also mentioned that Amy Grant had two number one singles, right? In the secular chart crossing over. And I'm just proud to announce that Lauren Daigle just tied the num just tied the record for being a number one Christian solo artist for 26 weeks in a row with uh, Carrie Underwood. Underwood. So I'm just saying that to say, when God spoke that to me, he had incredible love for her. And there was favor there, and he was happy for her. It's his daughter. And we don't have to agree with everything people do, but I'm just uh, making these video, this video in particular to say that 
you know, God spoke these things to me and then they've come to fruition. And I want to encourage people in the entertainment world. And we bless Christians in film. We bless Lauren. Pray for her. Bless her. Keep her from temptation. We bless the black community. We bless ethnicity and film and diversity. God wants more of that. That's his heart. Uh, go back and watch these two videos if you want to know more about what I said. But I'm just doing a follow-up video today. Be blessed. And the encouraging video is coming later this week.